bad choices in my life, and I think it's fair to say that everyone here has made, has made at least one bad choice in one as well. If it wasn't for the choices I made, despite if they were good or bad, then I would have never been the person that I'm blessed to be today. It's the choices we make that determine where we end up in life. I was an honorable student until high school, but my life took a turn. You heard it before. Everything starts to change when you decide to let others influence you. Then before you know it, you're surrounding yourself with the wrong people doing the wrong things. That was me. I chose to be a victim to that type of life. A type of life that I'll never forget or regret because I'm stronger today than I was yesterday because I had to learn from my bad choices. With everything going wrong, I felt like I was pulling myself down. Because of my bad choices, I was not only losing the trust that my family had with me, but I was losing the purpose God gave me. I wanted to change the way I saw myself as, because I knew what would happen if I kept making the same wrong choices. So I prayed and finally made a good choice, despite the bad choices I made in the past. I asked for help. I talked to my counselor, and she told me about a quasi-military program called the Washington Youth Academy. At first, I made obvious to my counselor that I didn't want to, want to attend a military school just because my grades were bad, but then I thought about how my daily life was the same routine, making the same choices over and over, surrounding myself with the wrong people, failing school, and how I wasn't setting the example for my little brothers at home. I read the cover of the WYA logo, which said, Today's challenge, tomorrow's success. That then stayed with me. And later I realized that if I didn't take that risk of trying something new and starting fresh, then how could I ever live my life the way God wanted me to? Was I willing to let the circumstances of life dictate my future, or should I pursue what I know will help me in the future and just do it? I had to make a change despite my ego, pride, or the way I saw myself as, and accept the reality that I wasn't doing what God put me on this planet for. I was born for a reason, and I finally had an awakening to seek my purpose. So I accepted that challenge. Since July, when we all arrived at the WYA, I took away those limits that I gave myself, and I set a new standard in my mind that pushed me to keep going. I have so much respect and dedication for my platoon, the cut, and, and the other platoons as well. The cadre see something in us that we can't see in ourselves. They want nothing but the best for us, and they want us to become the best version of ourselves. Sergeant Borka at first made it seem like he loved punishing us for the little things. But when he left through the middle of the cycle, he told us that he pushes us to our limits because we are capable of so much more than we think. I'm fascinated by, by the diversity not only Wolfpack, but every other platoon at the Academy because we all work together to become successful at the Academy despite your race, religion, or any differences you have with others. This program has taught me to be, to be more thankful about my family and friends that have been inspiring me, motivating me, sending me letters, and always praying for me. Before the program, I always took my family for granted. I woke up every day forgetting that the life of those around me is a blessing. I'm thankful for everyone that's mentored me, and especially to those that have been there for me when I was down. I've learned that my choices not only affect me, but the lives of those around me. It sounds simple, and it is, but we all make mistakes and bad choices, some worse than others. I now understand that we don't have control over what happens to us in life, but we do have control on the way we want to react to it. We never know how fast the pitcher will throw the ball, so we have to choose how we want to swing to hit that ball out of the park. After the WIA, the choice is yours whether you want to live the same life that brought you here. God bless you all. Thank you.